Wayland and screen capture was resolved a very long time ago. Anyone who tells you it wasn't is simply just lying to you and or has ulterior motives like Red Hat Bad or anything else like that and just don't want to accept the solution that already exists. Capture on Wayland is done through desktop portals and Pipewire. We've covered this many, many times on this channel. It works perfectly in applications like OBS, as you can see from my desktop literally right now. And there are tools like Zoom where the setup process is designed by an alien, but it does also function. Also, all web browsers have supported the solution for a very long time. So the browser clients of things like Zoom, Jitsi, and Discord can do screen sharing perfectly fine. Audio capture works. It's exactly the same as on X11, Windows, Mac OS, or anything else you might want to use. However, with that being said, the Discord desktop application, at least until recently, had not been updated to support the Wayland solution. But even though nothing was ever announced to be worked on, I knew that something was being done in the background. There was at least one developer working on things who was pushing things out to production and they weren't ready yet, but they were doing something. But over on Lemmy, someone spotted something new that things are changing. Discord now properly supports screen sharing on Linux. By that they mean on Wayland. Not just screen sharing, but screen sharing with audio works perfectly fine now. Not in the main client yet, but on Canary, so it will be in the main branch some point in the near future, but it is there in Canary if you really need to use it. But for now, let's have a look at how it works in the old model and then how it works with the new actual working solution. So here we have a call between me and myself because I do not have any friends and this is just easy to do it. On the left hand side is in the browser. This is where things currently function. On the right hand side, this is the Discord, a desktop client. So in the browser, if we just click screen share, allow, and then just, I don't know, this right here. I don't care about the microphone. There we go. Screen sharing is working exactly like it should be. Now, if I try to do the same thing from the desktop client, this is what we get. So it opens this window here, screen share, select something to stream and have your friends grab a seat. That is infinitely loading. It is just waiting for you to select something over on this side. Let's say I click the same thing. Give it a second. And this reopens. Let's do it again. And it reopens. Again. And it reopens. Let's try one of the windows instead, like uh, this right here. And the same thing happens. But if I do select something, let's say this, and then immediately click it, it is going to open up this window right here. Note, it does not say what you are streaming. This should give you the first indication that something is going to go very weirdly. If I click go live, the client crashes and automatically reloads. And then when it loads, now I'm back in the call. No matter what you try to do, every single time you try to screen share like this, it is going to crash. There is no other way around it. I have never had it go any further than that. Granted, there is this hacky workaround solution X Wayland Video Bridge. It functions, and if you really need to make it happen, that's a way you can do so. The other way is you can use OBS as a virtual webcam and then capture your desktop with OBS, show your camera when you want to show your camera, show your desktop when you want to show your desktop. Again, that doesn't do the audio part, but it does still let you capture your desktop. Either way, though, it's just not a good solution. The better solution is have a way for Discord to use the screen sharing functionality like you would expect from the screen sharing functionality. The problem is Discord is proprietary, so no matter what solution you try to implement on your end, there's only so much you can really do, and there was never really going to be a perfect way to do so without support 
directly from the Discord side, and that's what we finally have now. Let's try it again, this time with the Canary build. Once again, left hand side is my browser, right hand side is the desktop client, this being the Canary build. If I click share your screen, now we have a very different interface. Screen share. Select something to stream and have your friends grab a seat, share a screen, window or app, or share a device. I'll show you this one a little bit later. If we click share entire screen, we get this interface. If I click share a window, we get this one. It's pretty much the same interface. Notice it does have also share application audio. I'll show you that one as well. Also, it shows us what we are streaming this time. Now, these two do actually have a different function. If I click next from entire screen, we get this interface. If I do it from this one, we get... Okay, it does still have a little bit of a bug. Um, sometimes it might crash. I have seen that happen more than once. Let's try that again. If I do share your screen, share a window, next. There we go, now we get this one. Don't go back and forth a lot because it might crash. I hope they go and address that. Whilst this interface does look very similar, it is showing different content. This one is showing only individual window capture. This one over here, this... Okay, definitely going back and forth is a good way to crash it. This one over here shows only the monitor capture or selecting different regions. So let's do a full screen capture. And it works! Perfectly fine. If we move a window around, as you can see, it is updating on both the windows just fine. No issue at all. Besides the crashing when you go back and forth between the interfaces, but just don't do that. As for the audio capture, let's open this right here. So let's, so let's do, do a, a full, full screen, screen capture. capture. And now you should and it have works. an echo. Perfectly, Perfectly fine. fine. If, if we move, move a window around, around as, as you can see, see it is updating, updating on, on both, both the windows, windows just fine. One, and then no, no issue, issue at all. At all. Besides uh, the crashing when you go back that. and forth between the interfaces. But, 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 but just jump, jump, jump. There you go. Clearly, audio is working as well. Um, just, again, don't screen share with yourself. Otherwise, it is going to be really annoying. Now, as for that other option, share a device. This lets you share a camera device directly on Discord. Now, we can't do it with my cam link because... That's currently being used by OBS and because of the way the cameras work on Linux, that will break what we have over there. But I do have this little guy over here, the C920. If we click on that, click go live. Yeah, that happens. So I have tested this with a bunch of different devices. I have not found a single one where that option actually functions yet. Now, the camera itself does work. If I stop streaming that and I go set it to the C920, turn on the camera. See, that's clearly working, right? Like, there's no problem there at all. So, um, I don't know. I feel like that part is still a work in progress and i assume at some point in the future that is going to be available keep in mind that is not available in the web client and i don't think it's available on windows either so it might be a new functionality they are working on i think it's cool right i like the ability to have my webcam that i'm using and then being able to share like a capture card for a game or have another webcam like this to i don't know do whatever you want to do with the webcam point at your feet or something that's a good option to have but right now it doesn't work regardless though having the discord screen sharing working actually on wayland is nice even though it is a bit buggy and does crash out uh, the entire client if you go back and forth between the interfaces besides that issue which i'm sure is going to be addressed at some point because clearly someone is trying to fix the issue like actually like with wayland screen sharing this is good this is an improvement, much better than the state we're in before, and hopefully soon it's in the main client, probably after they resolve the crash bug. 
Hopefully. So, are you a Discord enjoyer? Have you wanted screen sharing to be working on Wayland, or are you just an X11 user and didn't even realize there was a problem? I'd love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, sleep, very pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and thank God this is finally working. That's one more thing we just don't have to talk about.